Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm doing a warm up challenge for the interview preparation kit on Hacker Rank. Um, just basically using it as a warm up. Um, Emma is playing a new mobile game that starts with consecutively numbered clouds. Some of the clouds are Thunderheads, others are Cumulus. She can jump on any Cumulus cloud having a number that is equal to the current number of clouds plus one or two. Uh, she must avoid the Thunderheads. To determine a minimum number of jumps, it'll take Emma to get from the starting position to the last cloud. It is always possible to win the game. For each game, Emma will get an array of clouds. Uh, number from zero, zero is safe, one if they must be avoided. For example, we have zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, uh, from indexes zero to six. Um, the number of each cloud is its index, so she must avoid the clouds at indexes one and five. Um, she could choose the following two paths, so she takes the minimum number of jumps, right? Uh, so zero is safe, one is not safe. She's gonna jump over ones. Uh, if there's two zeros in the row, she's going to jump one of the zeros and because obviously that's going to be faster. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's always possible to win the game, so there's never two ones in a row, and there's always a zero at the end. So this is pretty easy. Um, it's just a loop through the array. So we're going to have int num jumps is equal to zero. Uh, we're going to have int i equals zero. I like to use a while loop when you have to increment by different amounts. So while i is less than c dot length minus one. Um, we're gonna do if um, c of i plus two is equal to one. Uh, I plus plus uh, num jumps plus plus. So if we see a one in the if we see a one two spaces away, then we're only gonna jump by one, right? Because then we have to jump that one eventually. Um, else uh, we are going to jump by two, right? Every other case we would jump by two. There's no way that we wouldn't jump by two, except there is one, okay, there is one last case. The last case is if you're at, if you end up at the second last element and then there's a zero at the end. So if, the, if there's a second last element and that there's a zero at the end, then we would do if i plus two is equal to c dot length, um, then we would do that. And then we return the number of jumps. And it works. And I'll explain this. Okay, so because so we're looping through these integer arrays. If we see a one in the second position, we jump by one because then we have to jump it eventually. Um, otherwise we jump by two because there's no one. That means there's automatically a zero because there's only zeros and ones. So we just jump by two each time until one is two steps away. When we see a one, we gotta jump by one. And otherwise, the only other condition is if you get to the very end of the array because we're going to minus one. So that will happen very often. Uh, and then the last element is a zero. So we just do a check. If i plus two is equal to c dot length, that means that we are going to be at the second last position, and then we just jump by one to get into the last position. The last element is always one, so we don't even have to check for that one. Um, I got confused for a second there, but that's all good. We got the solution pretty easy. Uh, all right, let's do some real problems now. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward, so um, see you guys next time.